Hi, my name is Kaylin Ashley. I am a special effects makeup artist. You might know me from the season of Face Off, and I'm here with Tracy Hines. I'm hey. about to turn her into Zombie Ariel. Yeah, and we're going to do a makeup transformation and a little music video and a photo shoot. Yeah, lots so, of fun surprises in store. Yeah, we wanted to take you with us on our journey. So welcome. Under the Dead Sea. Under the disgusting Undead Sea. I was familiar with Tracy's work as the Hipster Mermaid. And um, also just I really enjoy meeting and working with very passionate driven people. I love Disney, but I also love horror and I love creating monsters, so I thought it would be a really fun way of kind of making something fun for both of us, but that's something that both our fan bases would be um, into as well. So right now what I'm doing is I'm laying down um, my prosthetic piece. It's a piece that I sculpted. I molded it and I ran the foam. Basically what I'm doing now, I've glued down my prosthetic using Prosade and um, there are some thicker edges around the piece. So what I'm doing is taking a thickened glue and blending my edges down so it blends into her skin. This is definitely the most I've ever, you know, been made up. So right now I am actually using the same material, these are foam latex uh, prosthetic barnacles. Uh, my good friend Sasha Glasser actually helped sculpt these. Well, you can purchase prosthetics of your own um, through a bunch of different prosthetic companies, my favorite being RBFX Prosthetics. Now that I have all of my pieces laid down, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start painting. I'm going to be using um, an aqua color paint, uh, you know, make her still pretty, but zombified. So I'm at a point where um, I am mixing two different colors. Whenever I do a paint job, if you're looking at actual skin, like you never see just one tone. And so what I like to do is bring a lot of depth and a lot of different um, tone variations. So I'm using a sea sponge on a mermaid, go figure. And uh, I am taking first my kind of lighter gray tone, my zombie tone, and then I'm taking more of a, an olive color, and I'm actually just letting the two colors blend together. So it actually looks like it could be um, flesh, and it's not just one flat solid color. starting to go in with some of my details and uh, I'm hopping around and giving her some gunk in the the barnacles. I want it to look like she's not bleeding because she's dead, but I want it to look kind of like seeping pus. <laughs> <laughs> So right now what I'm doing is taking a chip brush that I've cut down and that's just a paintbrush you can buy at any hardware store and um, I'm mixing up a slurry of color and I'm just kind of flicking it and that's going to help create some more breakup of color. Um, it looks like freckling. It's really subtle but um, when you get in there and you see that nice detail it really helps break up the makeup a lot. So now we're pretty much done with the actual makeup and we're going to move on into wig and tail. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my behind the scenes video of how to make scary Tracy Hines. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure to check out the part of your brain music video that we made over at Amalgam Studios. And we'll put it, the link right here. Right here. <laughs> thanks so much for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs>